<clears throat> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear respected brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah, Sayyidina Muhammad wa nabiyyil wa mi wa ala ali wa sahbihi wa min wa ala. سبحانك ربنا لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم ربنا افتح بيننا وبين قومنا بالحق وأنت خير الفاتحين سبحان الله وبحمده عدد خلقه ورضا نفسه وزنة عرشه ومداد كلماته سبحان الله وبحمده عدد خلقه ورضا نفسه وزنة عرشه ومداد كلماته سبحان الله وبحمده عدد خلقه ورضا نفسه وزنة عرشه ومداد كلماته اللهم عنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك اللهم عنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك اللهم عنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك إن شاء الله سبحانه وتعالى we continue with this حلقة بإذن الله سبحانه وتعالى have intention as we used to say as we used to do بإذن الله سبحانه وتعالى may Allah سبحانه وتعالى reward all of us with all intentions that we have بإذن الله سبحانه وتعالى May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our good deeds, inshallah. May Allah bless our day. May Allah bless, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our, our month of Ramadan. Bi'idhnillah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Last time, or last time we stopped with qawlillah subhanahu wa ta'ala, verse number 40. We stopped with the qawl Sulaiman alayhi salam when he talked about shukr. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in this beautiful ayah, and we talked about a shukr to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he told us about the Prophet on the tongue of the Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam that Rabbi am akfur. We talked last time about a shukr. But we didn't talk about something in this ayah. When Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam, he said in this ayah, لِيَبْلُوَنِي رَبِّي أَأَشْكُرُ أَمْ أَكْفُرْ We know the meaning of shukr. We know the meaning of kufr. So when we talked about a shukr, and we all of us, we know that, but can Prophet, can Prophet say, أَأَشْكُرُ أَمْ أَكْفُرْ Can the Prophet say that? How come Prophet say, أَأَكْفُرْ أَأَشْكُرُ أَمْ أَكْفُرْ Verse number, if you remember, verse number 40. Okay. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here in this ayah, as he said, as Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam, he said in this ayah, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here, he said, Ashkuru am akfur. We need to think about it together. How come the Prophet say that? To say, Ashkuru am akfur. Can somebody say that? Can Prophet say that? Ashkuru am akfur. The Prophet, as we know, the Prophets, they are inviting people to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So how come 
how come Prophet say أَأَشْكُرُ أَمْ أَكْفُرُ سُبْحَانَ الله. So here we need to stop and think about it together. Why Prophet Sulaiman? He said that as a prophet, he used to he is supposed to say, uh, I have to thank Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. I have to be thankful to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So how come? How come the Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam say something like that? I would like to look at the ayah in your Quran with me to look at the verse that Sulaiman alayhi salam he said so please can you focus on the, the ayah in, in your Quran as I said before bring your Quran with you and follow me from your Quran to focus on recitation the meaning how the word Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he written or it's written in the Quran so how come Prophet Sulaiman to say Ashkuru am akfur here we need to, to think to, th to, to think about it that Sulaiman alayhi salam he said that can I say that can I say like Sulaiman alayhi salam Sulaiman alayhi salam the, the, the human or the people they can say that. Why? Because this is not a special, this is not a special saying or a special sentence from Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam. And also, Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam is telling us that everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he gave it to me, he gave it to me, we should we should thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling me, he's giving me this ni'mah, so I have to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while Allah jalla jalaluhu, he doesn't need, he doesn't need to thank him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as, as he said, in Rabbi ghaniyun kareem, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need our thankful. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need to say that. But we should remember that the blessing that we have, it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And here, we should remember the favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He gave to, give to, it to us, and he gave it to the Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam. Then the next ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here, he is talking in the Quran, verse number 41, on the tongue of Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam. Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam, he is trying, he is trying to, to make some kind of test, to see and to let her know how the Prophet Sulaiman is able to do that. Look at the verse number 41, he said, alayhi salam, قَالَ نَكِّرُوا لَهَا عَرْشَهَا قَالَ نَكِّرُوا لها عرشها ننظر أتهتدي أم تكون من الذين لا يهتدون أجين قال نكروا لها عرشها سليمان عليه السلام he said try to try to make this عرش her throne try to make it something like to to know that she will know that well she will know that her throne or not. So, <clears throat> so, so we could understand that she, we, we, we could know that she will recognize it or not. So, try to make some kind of a changing to see that she will recognize it or not. For example, if it was with red color, Try to, we can make it green, for example. If it was the cloth, if it was with the yellow, we can make it something different. Why? To know that she will know it or, or not. And then after that, another, we will see that she can know it or not. So here, here, what we will learn from this area, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, 
he gives Suleiman alayhi salam the power and the authority to do whatever he wants as a prophet, as a prophet, and everything he's doing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can he do that? Yes, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he give him the power to do some kind of miracles as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in the, brief, in the previous ayah. Then after that, if the throne, it was the same, okay? So how she can know that her throne? Prophet Sulaiman, he's trying to, to take her attention, to make her pay attention for what he did. So as the Prophet Sulaiman said before to Al-Hudhud, أَصَدَقْتَ أَمْ كُنْتَ مِنَ الْكَاذِبِينَ and here also he said, أَنَنْظُرْ أَتَهْتَدِي أَمْ تَكُونُ مِنَ الَّذِينَ لَا يَهْتَدُونَ So can he do that? Yes. What Sulaiman he did is allowed him to do that? Yes. Because in the beginning she was not accepting Islam. So now he is trying to let her know that look at your throne. How can I do that? How can I do? I brought here. Then after that, when she came to Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam, when she came to him, and Sulaiman alayhi salam, the verse number 42, when she came, Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam, he told her, is it your throne? When she looked at it, when she looked at it, she said, oh, yes, it looks like my throne. It looks like, it looks like my chair. So when she came to Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam, and he said, فَلَمَّا جَاءَتْ uh, some Mufassirun said maybe Sulaiman alayhi salam he said that and some of his uh, soldiers or jinn or people around him they said that uh, is it a real question it's not a real question but this Sulaiman alayhi salam he wanted to tell her that yes this is your throne and but in indirect way Prophet Sulaiman is trying, trying to say that. So Prophet Sulaiman السلام, he trying to test her. So she said, هو, she didn't give answer. She answered the question with another question. قالت, هو, maybe, maybe is my throne. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here. He is telling us by action how the prophets they are acting. So here in this area, in this area, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching us that the prophets or Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam, as he said, that's your throne. And the end of this area, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wa utina al ilma min qabiliha wa kunna. Muslimin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He give us the science. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He give us the ilm. And we we were a Muslims and we're still Muslims and we inshaAllah will continue be a Muslims. The next ayah, verse number 43, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said here in this ayah, Wasadha ma kanat ta'budu min dunillah. Wasadha ma kanat ta'budu من دون الله إنها كانت من قوم كافرين صدها ما كانت تعبد من دون الله she was worshiping she was worship the another ilah and Allah سبحانه وتعالى here he told us about it before that she used to worship the sun and ما كانت تعبد من دون الله she didn't, in the beginning, in the beginning, she didn't accept that. Then after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us here, إِنَّهَا كَانَتْ إِنَّهَا كَانَتْ She was from people, they were kuffar. When she grew up, when she raised up, 
with the hair people or tribe, they were Al Kuffar. Then after that, she worshipped the sun and she didn't worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then after that, in the next ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says verse number 44, A'udhu billahi sami'il alim min ash-shaytan rajim قيل لها دخول الصرح قيل لها ادخول الصرح فلما رأته حسبته لجة وكشفت عن ساقيها قال إنه صرح ممرد من قوارير قالت ربي إني ظلمت نفسي وأسلمت مع سليمان لله رب العالمين قيل لها دخول الصرحة فلما رأته حسبته لجة وكشفت عن ساقيها قال إنه صرح ممرد من قوارير قالت ربي إني ظلمت نفسي وأسلمت مع سليمان لله رب العالمين قيل لها It means someone he told her and maybe Suleyman, maybe somebody, he was sitting with Suleyman from his people. Then she was told, enter the, the palace or enter the, the place, the, the place of Suleyman. <clears throat> but when she saw the hall, she thought she saw it and was a body of water. And imagine that the place of Sulay, Prophet Sulaiman it was something like from glass and the water running under it. And she said, <clears throat> and she, she felt like, oh, this is something, she felt like something that she are running in the water. And she took her clothes up because she thought that maybe this is kind of water so maybe some of her clothes maybe get wet from this water so قيل لها دخول الصرح فلما رأته حسبته لجة وكشفت عن ساقيها she took her clothes up and she was thinking that this is maybe this water <coughs> maybe this water it's some kind it, it will make her clothes with as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said here in this ayah it was from crystal and when she knows that she knows that no regular or normal person he can he can can have it like anybody else and here she knows this is that it was this is is a prophet as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said here in this ayah, here immediately when she saw that, when she saw what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam, that she said, قَالَتْ رَبِّ إِنِّي ظَلَمْتُ نَفْسِي وَأَسْلَمْتُ مَعَ سُلَيْمَانَ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Immediately, immediately, she said, إِنِّي ظَلَمْتُ نَفْسِي I was, I was doing wrong. I was from wrong people inni zalamtu nafsi i fully submit myself along and then after that i was wrong with my soul now i fully submit myself along with sulaiman to god it means i became she became a muslim wa aslamtu ma'a sulaiman lillahi rabbil alamin right away she said wa aslamtu here in this ayah we need to remember something as I said before, Al-Islam is the deen of all the prophets. Al-Islam, deen of all the prophets. And she said immediately, وَأَسْلَمْتُ مَعَ سُلَيْمَانَ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ So, what we learned here from this ayah? Number one, number one, how Sulaiman alayhi salam he was. This is number one. Number two, Sulaiman or the prophets, they can't test the people for what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to them. Number three, 
the woman, the woman, the lady, or Malik Balqis, Malikat Saba, she, she used to wear a right and a proper cloth while she was a queen, but when she went to meet Sulaiman alayhi salam, it's something like people who are wearing, wearing something like hijab. It's not hijab, but I mean proper cloth because she took her cloth up when she said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, then the end of, of the ayah, immediately she said, I was from wrong people and I became a Muslim. And she said, I'm following the Sulaiman alayhi, I'm following Sulaiman alayhi salam. And the end of the ayah, she said, وَأَسْلَمْتُ مَعَ سُلَيْمَانَ لِلَّهِ She said, لِلَّهِ then رَبِّي رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ The Lord of all the people over all the world. Then after that, the next ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will start in another story with another story, the story of people of Thamud wa Salih, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the Prophet Salih to the people Thamud when they said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when they said about them in the verse number 45, we will stop here inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continue talking about this story inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala next week. And here, here inshallah, yesterday, yesterday we didn't, we didn't talk about uh, the meaning of the dua. We will continue, inshallah, to explain the dua as we used to do. Dua we sent before iftar, inshallah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yesterday, the dua yesterday, who can tell me yesterday what's the dua yesterday it was? I think we sent it, inshallah. So can you, can you tell us? Yeah, I can tell you, Shaykh. Yes, brother Arun. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam, Shaykh. Uh, yes. The dua was from Surah Al-Araf. Uh, Mashallah. Mashallah, yes. Again, can you say it again, Brother Anwar, please? Very good. You, you know, Brother Anwar, uh, uh, this is for, 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 for two persons. But I started with this, with, with قول الله سبحانه وتعالى ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا Why? Because قال it's for two people, for a plural. So, uh, please, I think I hear, I hear echo. Okay, let me, okay. So, okay. So, قال ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا You said where, Brother Anwar? Where this verse? In Surah Araf. In Surah Al Araf. Al Araf. Okay. Which ayah, brother Anwar? 23. 23. So, all my brother and sister, now we know that dua where number one in Surah Al Araf. Number two, verse number what, brother Anwar? Uh, 139 also is a similar dua, which is for. Yes, yes. Which was used by, by the Prophet. Uh, uh, Prophet Musa, Musa. Uh, he used it when uh, he, he uh, the the calf issue. The uh, what happened when people start worshiping calf, uh, the cow. The and cow, then, yes. Yeah, and then that's when uh, he came. Uh, after that, when he found out, he asked Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for the similar dua, Rabbana zalamna anfusana. And so, so it's a kind of I've seen in many places where prophets started with Hazrat with Adam. I mean, the first one on 23 was Adam. MashaAllah. And, and then after see, you see uh, many of the prophets asked for similar dua when they made mistakes. Yeah, MashaAllah. Yes. Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. That, that, that's all. Uh, you go ahead. MashaAllah. Yes. Zakallah khair khair, brother. You did the homework, brother Anwar. MashaAllah. Sheikh Walid. Sheikh Walid. Assalamu alaikum. This is Ramina. 
Yes. Uh, how come I I did not get that dua in this in the WhatsApp group? I don't know. I sent it to Brother Anwar. But you I, send it just individually to him, not the group. No, not the group. I he used to send it to to the group. Islamic Sheikh, we also did not receive the dua. I don't yeah, we did not. Yeah, you just send it. <laughs> yeah. No, and this is the way we did You just send it to Anwar. You didn't send it yeah, to us. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Please, brother, please. Uh, discrimination, partiality, share. Sheikh Walid, no favoritism. It's not fair. Sheikh Walid, no favoritism. You favored my husband over all of us. Yeah, Romina. Yeah, Assalamu alaikum. We didn't get it either. Oh. That's what I'm saying, Sheikh Walid. We did not get the dua. <laughs> no, but uh, Romina. You know, I I asked for the dua. I, 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 sister, <laughs> uh, sister Romina, we send. I sent it to uh, to uh, for the sake of all, the group uh, for the volunteers for the sake of Allah, and I send it to to a couple of places also. So if you don't get it from Sheikh Walid, so, so <laughs> after, after <laughs> last. After last, night, <laughs> after last night, after last night, I reached out to the sheikh and I said, "Where's the dua, hmm? sheikh?" <laughs> That's when he sent us. So uh, it was too late to send it to anyone. <laughs> I suggest that you, uh, everyone. I suggest that you follow the, the the Instagram group and the WhatsApp uh, and the and the Facebook page. We all we always put the the duas. In the in both of them, so we put it on the Facebook page and mm -hmm. on the Facebook page. and then uh, I'm sorry the Instagram the Instagram page as well, and Sheikh Walid sent it. So the main thing is Instagram. Definitely, we'll find it there. We shared it. I'm oh. going to share it again now for everyone so that you, you make and, sure. That and the there. sister is also the, the you could see on Instagram on our YouTube channel and the YouTube and channel for Darut Taqwa for Darut Taqwa. Yes. Yeah, it's posted every day. Posted daily. So if you don't, if you if you don't receive it via WhatsApp for whatever reason, you will find it either on the YouTube, on the Instagram, on the Facebook page, or the WhatsApp. Okay. So I'll send okay. the I'll send the I will send the Instagram uh, uh, account again now so that you can follow. Okay. okay. So Rabbana zalamna anfusana. In this dua, <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Rabbana, see the dua, see the dua, it started with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rabbana, my Rabb. It means in the beginning of this dua, Rabbana, ظلمنا أنفسنا. Ya Allah, my Rabb, Ya Rabb, I wronged myself. As, as, Bilqis, subhanallah, subhanallah, we were explaining, we were explaining the same thing. Qalat inni zalamtu nafsi. This is what she said right now. We were explaining right now what she said. The Bilqis, Malikat Saba. Inni zalamtu nafsi. And subhanallah, we didn't arrange for that. Subhanallah, that the same dua we sent today, we made yesterday. It comes with the same compatible with the same ayah. We are explaining. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Rabbana zalamna and pusana. We wronged ourselves. Then after that. So here we are, we recognize that we did wrong. We did mistake. We did sin. So this is some kind of repentance that when we start doing tawbah, we started with repent. We say, Ya Allah, I regret for what I did, so forgive me. And then after that, after that, Allah said, وَإِن لَمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا If you didn't forgive us, if you didn't forgive us, Ya Allah, our Lord, we wrong ourselves. And if you don't forgive us and have mercy upon us, we will surely be among from losers. You know, if we, if we, if we would be from the losers, we will lose everything. Why? Because, because if, we if we became a losers, we will lose the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will lose al-jannah, we will lose al-maghfirah, al-rahmah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is subhanallah also, I'm try I tried in this to when I picked this dua from the Quran or sunnah, 
to to pick the most the most dua the most that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can can make us close to him from this dua so all of us we we have to when you go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to say in the beginning ya Allah I I was wrong ya Allah I wronged myself so ya Allah forgive me so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he likes the servant who is who is knowing he know that he did wrong in the beginning and also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes the servant that that the servant he knows that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his rabb his lord the one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only can forgive us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the only one can give us the mercy Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the only one can take care of us when we say rabbana rabbana i wanted to emphasize on this meaning rabbana when you say ya rabb ya rabb ya rabb remember that a rabb that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the only one he can forgive us he the only one can take care of us so from here we understood the meaning of this dua verse number what brother anwar can you say it again to let everybody knows Surah Al-A'raf. Uh, surah Ayah 23. Ayah 23. So now, Surah Al-A'raf, if you want to write it down, write it down. Surah Al-A'raf, verse number 23. 23. Try to memorize, inshallah. Surah Al-A'raf, verse number 23. Sometimes maybe you could see the same ayah or the same dua in another surah. It's okay. But now, we have it from the surah al from surah al araf verse, verse number 20 23 and and, and sheikh surah in the same surah ayah 139 is also similar dua which prophet moses asked allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for same same surah yes same surah brother anwar uh, did you while you did some homework about it can you tell us some something about it what you understood from this dua to share it with with all of us I mean, my, my, my evaluation of this dua is so powerful that when uh, Prophet Adam, -Islam, when he was, you know, uh, he did the wrong thing in the heaven and, and, he, and Allah SWT was very unhappy with him and sent yes. him down uh, uh, to the earth. That's yes. when he asked for, for Allah SWT that I wronged myself and, you know, forgive me. If you don't forgive me, I'll be from the losers so i mean it seems like that was repeated by other prophets uh, as yes. as they as they did or their their ummah did wrong things so they came out and asked for mercy from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's kind of my understanding is that it's it's, it's if the prophets have used these duas for yes. forgiveness we we certainly yes. should be using it too you know Yes, yeah, this is the same thing, Dr. Muhammad Shakil. He said the same thing about the Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said that yesterday, yes, exactly, exactly as you said, Brother Anwar. Is somebody else, uh, some of my brother and sister, can add something? Inshallah, sharing with us. Yes, yeah. 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 yes, Dr. Muhammad. Alaykum yeah. uh, the difference between Shaitan Iblis and Adam alayhi salam, was that. Uh, you know, uh, Adam alayhi salam uh, did the mistake and immediately he accepted and repented, whereas the shaitan immediately. did not do. Immediately. Immediately, yes. Yes. Yeah. Whereas shaitan did not accept the mistake. That's why he was from the you oh. know, Zalimin. What the kind of act, Dr. Shakir here? What, what the kind of shaitan? I'm talking about the shaitan. The, uh, he was the kabbur. He did. Like, you know, al -kibr. Kibr, yeah. al -kibr, arrogance. Yeah, arrogance. See how the arrogance can take some people? Yeah, can lead yeah. some people to what? Yeah. It leads the shaitan to, to disobey Allah disobey, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. It disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is subhanAllah, this is about the shaitan. But about us, about us today, nowadays, you know what, Dr. Muhammad and all my brother and sister, you know what? This is sometimes can can lead us to not don't don't accept the right al haq or the truthful because the arrogance al kibr some of us some of people they don't accept the truthful 
they don't accept the right okay why because they have arrogance all the time they are right all the time they are right they are not doing wrong all the time they are doing right things subhanallah they are they are acting as if they are protected from doing any anything wrong right yeah yes yes do you have something assalamu alaikum sheikh i would like to add something yes sister this dua also shows this dua also shows humbleness that humbleness. the prophets were uh, you know al muqarrabun the you know the best people one of the best people still yes. when they made mistake like yeah. uh, like brother ahmed mohammed ahmed said they immediately admitted their mistake and this shows humbleness and only the person who has a humble heart would do that and like you said the person with an arrogant heart would never do it like the shaitan would we'll never would we'll never do that so but sister romina i want to stop with this the, the last sentence you said uh, right now the sister romina you said they are not doing or some people you are doing like shaitan this is a beautiful sentence you said sister romina right now meaning what meaning if some people doing or acting the same way they are doing or they acting the same way of what al shaitan of shaitan iblis iblis wa la'adhu billah may allah protect all of us from from Amen. him Amen. see but i think wallahi my brother and sister i think i think i think if there is no reason if there is no reason to leave and to put our arrogance under shoes under the shoes just so you will not to be like the shaitan it would be enough for us when i feel like if i'm acting like that if i'm feeling like that some kind of arrogance i'll be like shaitan i think it, it's enough reason enough reason to put it under shoes right right i'll tell you something allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like al mutakabbirin another reason when you feel when you see this ayah when you see this ayah when you read this ayah that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like al mutakabbirin so all of us we are looking for to be from those people allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes them so how when we acting this way allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not like us because as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us not that allah doesn't like al mutakabbirin mutakabbirin those people they have arrogance human every human every people they should be humble with each other but unfortunately nowadays we see arrogance between all of us between all of us for no reason all the time i don't know why i don't know why why some of us some of people they are looking at themselves i am the best i am better than you why you are better than if if you if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made you better than me in something allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al adl allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is just so if allah give you something and didn't give it to me allah give me something gave me something didn't give to you to make a balance in this in this universe on the earth okay because if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give someone everything what he want and somebody doesn't have anything we don't know how the people they will, will, will react or how they will deal with each other in this life subhanallah while we are the same is anybody they have something to share with us assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum salam brother nabeel alaikum assalam brother nabeel yeah i i i see this uh, you know uh, when i when i uh, hear this uh, dua that you know it's like a good news good news okay. Well, the good news is that you know uh because even the prophets you know they recognize that they make mistakes so you know i mean as common people you know we we make a lot of mistakes not more than the prophets do so this dua is like a, you know uh, salvation that you know we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to you know forgive us for our own doing so uh, yes. dr muhammad can mute i dr muhammad please Yes, brother Navid. Go ahead. Continue. 
Yeah, so um, Sanjay, you know, it, it, it uh, reminds us that we need to internalize and we need to, you know, self-reflect that, okay, we make mistakes, but by yes. making dua, inshallah, Allah will uh, forgive us and we need to correct ourselves. Yes, we need to correct ourselves. Yes, Jazakallah kulli khair, brother Naveed. Who can, inshallah, share with us something? Assalamualaikum, Sheikh Walid. I just wanted to add some more. Uh, yes. Just as a continuity of the same thing, I think we should, uh, every day, we should ask for astaghfar. We should ask forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I think it's extending it's not the same dua, but I think it's a part of the same thing that we should constantly ask forgiveness from, us, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have to keep, you know, astaghfar is important. That's yes, astaghfar is important. I think I see we have today uh, Dr. Arif Mannan. I think uh, I, I, I'm not sure if I'm right or, wrong or not. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. You're right. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Dr. Arif. How are you? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. We missed you, Dr. Arif. I miss you all too. <laughs> not seeing and uh, you know, I'm missing the halqat as well. Jazakallah khair for remembering. Jazakallah kulli khair, Dr. Arif. We, you know, Dr. Arif, how we, we, we likes you as, as, a, as, a, as a brother, as a friend, as, a, as everything good, inshallah. Yeah. Just, just so, remember us in your du'as. Uh, and I request the same uh, to all the participants here. That is remember we you remember you du'as. all the time, Dr. Arif. You Jazak know Allah how, how you are for us. You know Alhamdulillah. That. Yeah, I'm so happy to see you with us today. Allahumma lak alhamd. Allah so I, I wish we could see you, inshallah, as much as you can to be with us during the month of Ramadan. Inshallah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do you have something to share with us, uh, Dr. Arif, regarding what we are sharing together? No, Sheikh, mashallah, I, I, you know, these are all good reminders that, you know, all brothers have yeah. said that, that, uh, that alhamdulillah, the, the, the humbleness the sisters said, and that the reminder that, uh, you know, the moment we all will make mistakes, and when it does happen, then we turn around quickly. And, yes. Uh, yeah, 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 doctor, doctor, stop with this point. Turn what? Turn around yes. what? Is it you just turn around quickly? Quickly, and, and, yeah, and quickly. And recognize yeah, that, this is a that, good word, know, quickly. Not to, let, not to let it become bigger inside ourselves. Because if we if we let it become bigger inside ourselves, we will believe in it. Right? Right. Correct me if I'm wrong, doctor. No, right? no, no, Sheikh, this is exactly, yes. Yes, this is what's happening with all of us. If we turn around right away and we, we have to understand and to realize that this wrong, I have to turn around and say, Rabbi inni dhalamtu nafsi faghfir li. Yes. Jazakallah kulli khair, Dr. Arif. Jazakallah kulli khair. Allah barik fi. Who will share with us, inshallah, something regarding this dua? Sheikh Walid, can I just add something quickly of course. again? Of course. Yes. So whenever we as humans make mistake, the first thing is we should admit it, stop, and then sincerely make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if we have done anything wrong to another human being, whether it's a family member, friends, or anybody, we should say sorry to that person also. Oh. And nobody becomes smaller yes. if they admit their mistake and say, I am sorry, yes, Sister I did wrong. Yes. yes, Sister Romina, we should say sorry. I think, Sister Romina, to say sorry today, it's a big word to say. No, some people, they don't like to say sorry. Some people, they don't like to say sorry. This is what I, what, what I know. Some people, they hate to say that. They hate to, to be in the front of others that they did wrong. All the time, they did the right thing. So, so from here, they don't like to say sorry. Yes. Yes, Sister Rumin. Jazakallah kulli khair. I think uh, we, have, we have who... Uh, let me see. Uh, we have, uh, I think, I, I, I'm not sure. Is it Dr. Hatim? Is it Dr. Hatim with us? Yes, yeah, Salam alaikum, Sheikh. Yeah, wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh, Dr. Hatim. Wa jazakum, Mr. Masha Allah. Minawarna, Dr. Hatim. Allah, 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 Allah,
the, the honor is ours. Uh, we honored, we honored Dr. Hatim <laughs> that we, you, we see you today. We honored Allah, Dr. Hatim. Jazakallah <laughs> khair. Yes, mashallah, laqwa ta'illa billah. Alhamdulillah, wa shukrullah that you joined us. Alhamdulillah. Allah, Allah yibarik fi. I, I remember the Sheikh that also in Surah Al-Anbiya, I believe there is also a similar dua by uh, uh, Prophet Yunus. Yes. وَنَادَى فِي الظُّلُمَاتِ أَلَّا إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنْتَ سُبْحَانَكَ إِنِّي كُنْتُ مِنَ الظَّالِمِينَ Yes. So Yunus uh, also realized that he did uh, wrong and he immediately turned around as uh, Brother Arif was saying. Yes. And uh, thought forgiveness uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah immediately in the next ayah said فَنَجَّيْنَاهُ مِنَ الْغَمِ وَكَذَلِكَ نُنْجِي Yes. The remaining of the ayah. We covered this, this, this dua, yeah, we covered this yeah. dua two days ago. Subhanallah, Dr. Dr. Hatim, what we see right now, the common thing between the prophets, what? You know what, Dr. Hatim? Humbleness. The common thing, yeah. humbleness, and what, 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 what other the thing, Dr. Hatim? What? Uh, al -dhalimeen. Al -dhalimeen. From, yeah. 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 Imagine the prophets, the prophets, the prophets himself, they say that we were from wrong people. So what about us? If the prophets said that, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he chose them among the people to be his prophets, to be the prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what about us? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh... We're, uh, we're, there is no comparison, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, yes. this, this is learn. This is oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's a good it's a good it's a good to learn. Yeah. It's a good yeah. to learn from the prophets. They are very very well, they were very very humble, very very humble. And the same time, they are repentance. They are they regret that we were from wrong people. While Subhanallah, when we look at the prophets. It was not something big like us, you know. No. Yeah. It was not something big like us. What people, all of us, all of us, we are fault. All of us, may Allah forgive all of us. But yeah. the, the prophets, the prophet, they were a good and a good uh, model for us, for all of us. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala forgive all of us. Amen. Amen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Uh, who will share uh, something with us about the dua? This is the habit, the Dr. Hatim, by the way, this is the way we used to do every day. Well, alhamdu, we are sharing together. I'm not talking only all of us, we are sharing, but mashallah, wa ta'illa billah. It's something like to, to uh, increase our, our reminders and information and feeling and thinking and many different things. We can share it together, all of us as a family. We are talking as a family, <laughs> inshallah. Jazakum Allah. Dr. Hatim. Jazakum Misko. So, who will share with us something? Salam Sheikh, again, this is uh, Dr. Ahmed. Uh, uh, I, you know, uh, just uh, commenting on what Sister Romina said, like asking and apologizing, you know, for each other. And this is the month of Ramadan, and this is the best time to ask for forgiveness. Yes. So, Alhamdulillah, I am the first one to ask for forgiveness from all my brothers and sisters if I have hurt their feelings or Allahu Akbar, anything yes. bad. <laughs> you initiated Allah, Dr. Muhammad, this, this act, mashallah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the first time to hear that. This is the first time to hear that from some of my brothers. Uh, all of them, they are, mashallah, all of them. I know all the people, they are joining this halaqat, mashallah. But this is the first time to hear that from some of my beloved and respected brother, Dr. Shaquille. May Allah forgive you and forgive all of us. Amen. And, I, and I think all of us, they will accept that, inshallah. Fi idnillah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should, you know, Dr. Shakil, you know what, you know what, Dr. Shakil, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us about it uh, in Surah, in Surah Nur. He said, وَلْيَعْفُوا وَلْيَصْفَحُوا وَلْيَعْفُوا وَلْيَصْفَحُوا أَلَا تُحِبُّونَ أَنْ يَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ All of us, we are looking for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So how come, how come we are looking for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while we will not excuse each other, you know? If you did, if you did 99, if you did, if we, someone did 99 thing, good thing, and he did one, one bad thing, the, the people, unfortunately, the people, they forgive 99 good things and remember one bad thing. This is the habit. 
listen, the, this is the way of the people nowadays. And we should, we, should, we should act or we should have something different. We should remember the good thing and forget the bad thing. Why? Because imagine, imagine if we, could, if we still, if we stay remember the bad things about each other, how come or how we can deal with each other? If I remember Dr. Shakil, someday he did such and such. It was very, very simple or small thing with me. While he did very, a lot of good things with me. And I forgot, I, I forgot that. I forgot all the things. I just remember these bad things. This is not right. This is unfair, by the way. So if we are, if we are seeing forgiveness, if we are seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should forgive each other from now. And from now I forgive everyone. If he did something for, for, with me, I forgive everyone for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a sadaqah. By the way, doctor, to, to add something as a sadaqah, as a sadaqah from you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, I made it as a sadaqah on me, so Ya Allah, forgive me and accept it from me. This is the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he taught us that. Insha'Allah. Brother Walid, uh, Assalamu alaikum, brother Shahid. Wa alaikum assalam. I'm waiting to hear from you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to take advantage of uh, the way the brother Shakil said it. Um, yes. I want to apologize to anybody if I hurt it, anybody or said it something to anybody. Please forgive me also. Uh, I want to apologize to any, everybody, uh, all the people in this group. Brother, brother, brother Shahid, I, yes. as I know, well, like Dr. Shakil, both, all of you are good, mashallah, but I don't think so, brother Shahid. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm still human. I'm still human. I can. I, I make mistakes all the times. I make all of us. All, the times. all of us. We are doing mistakes, brother, brother Shahid. All yeah. of us. Yeah. All of us. Wallahi, brother Shahid. See, see how Allahu Akbar. I, 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 Subhanallah. How is your feeling, all of you, brother and sister, right now? Please. please Asking for forgiveness feeling? from everybody and see, from Allah and from, from the brothers and sisters. And see right now, see how we are feeling right now when we forgive each other. Light. See how, how this is how this is a warm uh, relationship between the brothers and sister in, in, in for the sake of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. You know. Yeah. Yeah, we are we are we are forgive each everyone for the sake of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for no benefit for no reason, just for the sake of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And see how we, when we bear, I don't know how uh, forgiver. In Islam, in Islam, they call it mutasamah. In Islam, in Arabic yeah. word, they call it mutasamah. Mutasamah, it means is forgiving everyone for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. See, see how, 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 how is our heart right now when we clean, when we are cleaning our hearts right now in this beautiful time, in this beautiful halaqa, when we are cleaning our hearts, when I'm dealing with my brother Anwar, my brother Arif, my brother Shahid, my brother uh, Muhammad, my brother Ibrahim, my, whatever, all brother and sister right now, sisters, when I'm cleaning my heart with all of them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he gathered us right now for the sake of him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he chose us in this beautiful time to have this subhanallah, this, this is beautiful, this beautiful act with each other right now. See, when you go back right now to sleep, I, I, I think, I think, I think, when you go back right now to sleep, inshallah, bi subhanahu wa ta'ala, I think you will feel something different. And please, tell me tomorrow. Please, all of you, I wish to see all of you, inshallah, tomorrow. Inshallah. And please tell me how's your feeling after Brother Dr. Muhammad, he said, I, I asking, I'm asking for, for forgiveness from everyone right now. And Brother Shahid, he did the same. I, and I, I'm sure, I'm sure that all of you, you will do the same. I have no doubt about it because all of you, mashallah, mashallah, la quwwata illa billah, all of you, wala nuzakki ala Allahi ahadan, all of you are, inshallah, good, very good brothers and sisters, bi idhnillah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakallah for the khir, brother Shaykh. Shaykh, 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 I'll take this opportunity also and ask for forgiveness from everyone so that, uh, you know, I can also sleep lightly. Mashallah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, Shaykh Wali. This is very important. Yeah, I just want to yeah. share this. Uh, the Allah Ta'ala, Allah said, mm -hmm. Whatever happened between, between us, between people, just, just, just uh, 
remember the fuddle be, be, between uh, the, good know, thing, the good thing between the good thing between between, yeah, good between all of you exactly yeah don't forget yes i think all of us brother ibrahim this is a good ayah mashallah while allah mentioned this ayah about the, the wife and the husband and or the people in, in general i think the best way i think the best way to deal with something bad happen or some action happen from my brother or my sister to me the best way the best cure for that you know what as you said brother ibrahim you know the best cure is what the mm -hmm. best cure to remember something good yeah. this brother or this sister he did with me so it will be like eraser the eraser exactly. it will it will erase the bad feeling or the bad thing immediately mm -hmm. this is yep. the best cure because some people said no 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 i never forget what he did with me no 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 i when you remember something good remember someday he did something good for you even if it was a cup of water even if it was uh, very, for example some fruit uh, some good word give you a right <laughs> you know to so, so try to remember anything good for him or her for some some day he did that with me i never forget that so for that what he did in the past i'll forgive him now for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you reminded me sheikh walid with the ayah yes, wala tansa wal fadl baynakum yes yes this is what Brother Rahim is said right now. Yes, sister. Yes, sister Nivin. Yes. This is bit, not between the wife and the husband. Everybody. Everybody. But you know, sister. You know, sister. I think, I think, I would like, if I asked all my brothers and sisters here, I think if we asked all of them, if I asked all of them, we know, all, we know each other right now. If I ask, for example, Dr. Arif, I'm not asking, but give an example. Dr. Arif, I think I think some of my brother and sister on the list right now they did something good for you someday, right or wrong, Doctor Arif? Can you answer me? Yes, Sheikh. They have done a lot of good things. Mashallah. See, I, see, you said a lot of good things. You know, brother Shahid. I think brother Shahid. I think some of my brother. We know all of us here. So, brother Shahid. Yes. I think, I think some of my brother or sisters here, they did something good for you someday, right? Or wrong? They, all, they do all the times. All the time. See, mashallah. Dr. Arif, you said a lot of things. And you said, brother Shahid, all the time. Mashallah. See, see how when we deal with each other like that in this way, and we, we have to eliminate al-kibr, wal-haqq, the jealousy, and, and the selfishness, and, the self, and to be selfish. And the selfish to be selfish and forget everything just for the, just for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, I'll I'll give you a gift right now for all what you did. I'll give you a beautiful gift, inshallah, right now. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For all what you said right now, for all what you did, Allah, I am so happy today because I I feel like this is the first time to have this uh, this beautiful conversation between each other because we are sharing together what we have. The gift I'm giving to you right now, it's from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know the gift is what? You know the gift is what? Now, now we forgive each other. Now, inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala, on the day of judgment, when we forgive each other in the front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even if someone did wrong with me, even someone did wrong with you, and you will forgive him, inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told us, take the take hand of your brother and enter Jannah together. Oh, See, it's a big, and this is from Allah. This is what Allah would say on the day of judgment. Another gift another gift for you today i think the day of gifts mashallah oh, the gift another gift from rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam as well what's the gift is you know all of us we know about the seven people that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take them under the throne on the day his throne on the day of judgment you know, all of us, all of us, the sun, it would be on us like that. Like that, exactly. Our head, and this is the sun, like that. See? 
we in, now in this in nowadays now in this life if the temperature it was for example 100 100 we, we know how 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 we feeling in the summer and and we know how far the sun from us imagine when the sun it comes like that on 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 over us like that okay so on that day allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take some people under his throne jalla wa ala and Allah so Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this is the gift. Among the seven people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take them under his throne, warajwilani, two brothers or two sisters. It, it doesn't matter brothers or sister. Okay? Two brothers or two sisters, warajulani, tahaba fila. They like each other for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not for benefit, not for dunya. Not for something. I like you for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm not looking for the benefits from you. And you like me for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are not looking for the benefit from me. Okay. So now we are on the same page. On the same goal. I like you for the sake of Allah. You like me for the sake of Allah. I forgive you for the sake of Allah. You forgive me for the sake of Allah. So when we have this kind of hearts together. When we have this kind of act together, when we have this attitude with each other together, here, inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I wish, I'm asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make all of us from those people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take them under his throne, bismillah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are here Ameen. for the sake of Allah. We will leave, inshallah, when we finish this halaqa for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for no benefit except to learn and share information or what we have together, bismillah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When I'm talking to you, I'm talking as a brother, not as a sheikh. I'm your brother, not sheikh, not anything. Just I like to say I'm your brother for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I, I, I like that. Zakumullah kulli khair. There is any brother or sister who want to share us something? Yes, Sheikh Walid. I think yes. to reach this stage of mm. love between us, inshallah, yes. we, so, need to, we need to apply the, the, the idea of so yes. you give excuses to each other and you, you be gentle with each other you don't judge each other because the problem is that we're becoming extremely judgmental Every yeah, this is the problem sister by the way the people yes. they are they are like, like, like the judge on each other yes so yes. I feel that if we give each other excuses, maybe this person was late. Okay, maybe he had something. He didn't mm -hmm. call me. Maybe, maybe he had a, you know, like a, something at home. We just give each other excuses and we become gentle with each other. This is how we, bec we, we kind of have this kind of bond without holding grudges. And, and I feel that this, this makes um, relationships easier and smoother and and, more and this lovely. is what we need sister nowadays because life is very tough and everything is very tough around us we need we need to have this kind of relationship between each other not to fight with each other for no reason for benefit for ego for show off for for something in dunya because all of us will leave this dunya as we see right now covid when it comes to somebody he will leave everything behind him or her yes Yes. <laughs> Sheikh Walid, this reminds me of a hadith of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you love someone, go and tell him that I love you for sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Yes. So we should yes. tell our brothers, you know, like, yeah. I love you yes. for sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Yeah. Verbally, yes. we should communicate that. Yes, Inshallah. yes. All of us, we should do like that. Yes. Zakum la kulli khair. We done? I don't want to finish without, uh, without say somebody has something to say. I want to give the right for everyone here with us. If he has something to say or to share with us, you are welcome, all of you. And I'd like to invite all of you to invite other people, whatever, they're your friends, your family, your neighbors, you, to join us in this beautiful, to let them see about how the relationship it should be between each other in the community, inshallah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. I think we're done right now. And now we, alhamdulillah, we passed the time of uh, Shrak. It's uh, about 20 minutes ago. And now we are in the safe time, bi may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
forgive all of us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our good deeds. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as he gathered us in this beautiful time on ta'a, on ibadah, for the sake of Allah, to gather us under his throne on the day of judgment, inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and to gather all of us on al-hawd, ba'al nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, fil firdaws al-a'la, with al-nabiyyin, wal-siddiqin, wal-shuhada'i, wal-salihin. And don't forget, inshallah, to keep tracking our dua every day, inshallah, on, on many sources that you have right now, on the website, Darut Taqwa website, on the Facebook, Darut Taqwa Facebook, YouTube channel for Darut Taqwa, or Instagram page, or in the group. And I'd like to invite everyone, when you get this dua, share it with everyone, so you get ajr and reward, bi'idhnillahi subhanahu wa ta'ala. And inshallah, join us for, join us for, inshallah, taraweeh, and dua, and tar, and dua khatira, inshallah, and khatira, bi'idhnillahi subhanahu wa ta'ala every day invite all your brother and sister and you get as you like them and if you have something you can send me an email i think you have my email right now you can send me an email if you have something to say if you want something to do let me know please inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk سبحانك يا ربنا لا محصي ثناء عليك أنت كما أثنيت على نفسي اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ونبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم إنا نسألك بأسمائك الحسنى وصفاتك العلا نسألك اللهم بكل اسم هو لك سميت به نفسك أو أنزلته في كتابك أو علمته أحدا من خلقك أو استأثرت به في علم الغيب عندك أن تجعل القرآن العظيم ربيع قلوبنا ونور أبصارنا وجلاء أحزاننا وذهاب همنا وغمنا اللهم ذكرنا منه ما نسينا وعلمنا منه ما جهلنا وارزقنا تلاوته آناء الليل وأطراف النهار على الوجه الذي يرضيك عنا واجعله حجة لنا لا علينا اللهم إنا نسألك من الخير كل عاجله وآجله ما علمنا منه وما لم نعلم ونعوذ بك من الشر كل عاجله وآجله ما علمنا منه وما لم نعلم نسألك اللهم رحمة من عندك تهدي بها قلوبنا وتلم بها شعثنا وترد بها الفتن عنا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ارحمنا اللهم طهر قلوبنا من النفاق وألسنتنا من الكذب وأعمالنا من الرياء اللهم اجعل عملنا كله لوجهك خالصا ولا تجعل فيه لأحد غيرك شيئا اللهم إنا نعوذ بك أن نشرك بك شيئا نعلمه ونستغفرك لما لا نعلمه اللهم اجعل أعمالنا خالصة لوجهك يا رب العالمين واجعلها مقبولة عندك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ولا تؤاخذنا بما فعل السفهاء منا يا رب العالمين العالمين. اللهم ألف بين قلوبنا اللهم وحد بين صفوفنا اللهم اجمعنا على كلمة سواء برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم ارفع عنا الوباء والبلاء اللهم أذن لنا بالعودة إلى بيوتك يا رب العالمين وبصلاة الجماعة في مساجدك وفي بيوتك يا رب العالمين اللهم اجعلنا ممن يعمرون بيوتك يا رب العالمين اللهم استعملنا ولا تستبدلنا اللهم أعنا على كل ما يرضيك عنا اللهم اغفر لنا اللهم ارحمنا اللهم عافنا اللهم اهدنا اللهم ارزقنا وبارك اللهم لنا في كل ما آتيتنا وأعطيتنا اللهم اهد أولادنا وأولاد المسلمين واهد شبابنا وشباب المسلمين اللهم رد شبابنا إلى دينك ردا جميلا ورد أولادنا إلى دينك ردا جميلا واحفظنا واحفظ أبناءنا وأبناء المسلمين وأهلينا وجميع المسلمين من كل مكروه وسوء يا رب العالمين اللهم اشفنا وعافنا من كل مرض اللهم اشفنا وعافنا من كل مرض 
اللهم اشفنا وعافنا من جميع الأمراض ومن جميع الأوجاع ومن جميع الأسقام برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم عافنا من كل بلاء اللهم عافنا من كل بلاء اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من جهد البلاء ودرك الشقاء وسوء القضاء وشماتة الأعداء نسألك اللهم عيش السعداء ونزن الشهداء ومرافقة الأنبياء والنصر على الأعداء والعافية من كل هم وغم وحزن وألم وكرب وفراق ووجع برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ارحمنا اللهم أعطق رقابنا من النار وأعطق رقاب آبائنا وأمهاتنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم اكتب لنا أجر حجة وعمر تامة تامة برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وصل اللهم وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا مباركا فيه آمين 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 جزاكم الله خيرا for joining I enjoyed this حلقة today and every day while I'm with you which إن شاء الله سبحانه وتعالى make all of us keep doing that in the last subhanahu wa ta'ala every day during ramadan and after ramadan in the last subhanahu wa ta'ala jazakumullah khair don't forget to pray inshallah salat al-duha and adhkar al-sabah in the last subhanahu wa ta'ala may allah bless your day and your family and all what you have in the last subhanahu wa ta'ala jazakumullah khairan assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh assalamu alaykum wa alaykum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaykum assalamu